as long as you know we have this sort of hawkish view on interest rates, uh, it's going to be very difficult. The, the U.S. dollar is going to remain strong. It's going to be very difficult to make a case for emerging markets, uh, including ASEAN, uh, as you know, a, a destination for portfolio flows. So I think it will remain challenging for markets as a whole and for benchmarks as a whole in ASEAN. But having said that, you know, I, I wouldn't throw the baby out with the bathwater in the sense that there are interesting things happening, you know, beneath the indices in ASEAN. You know, ASEAN indices are stacked with. Old economy, big cap, banks, utilities, telcos, uh, plantations in the case of uh, Malaysia. But when you look at the, the tech supply chain, which is sort of uh, improving from uh, a lot of inter, you know, uh, uh, incoming FDI over the last two years, we're seeing a lot more growth potential there. If you look at thematics like renewable energy, uh, EV, uh, you know, those are things where you know, we are seeing more and more investment cases coming up, not necessarily uh, index-based uh, or in index constituent stocks, but more in the small mid-cap space. So I think if you're a small mid-cap uh, uh, stock picker, ASEAN will remain very interesting going forward, whatever happens in terms of the uh, top-down macro views. What would be your, your single best stock in terms of a recommendation that won't be susceptible to any kind of external um, macro weakness or the like playing out? Yeah, I would focus on either the consumer space, uh, which is you know uh, very strong in, in certain countries like Indonesia, Thailand as well. We see stocks like CPL. Uh, being uh, quite attractive at this point in time. Uh, so anything that's just driven by uh, the domestic economy. So banks, in a way, sort of fit that as well. Uh, you know, banks have, have ridden through the pandemic in ASEAN uh, without much in the way of credit cost issues uh, or, you know, uh, or, or big margin impact. In fact, margins have improved uh, with rates uh, hitting higher. So I think a good place to start for domestic economy proxies, which will be least affected by external issues, would be banks and consumer. Uh, and that's, uh, you know, valid across uh, uh, ASEAN. But I think for consumer, the bigger names, uh, the bigger market cap names will be in countries like Thailand, Indonesia, uh, and to a lesser extent, like SM in, in Philippines is interesting to us as well.